Hey guys and welcome to a brand new video. So today I have a create a sim and this one was mainly inspired by the new hair that we got. I think it was now a week ago when I'm recording this voiceover, but I recorded this video I think the day after the hair came out, I think. I don't remember. But I remember seeing, I think it was Cryptic Sim who posted a photo of it on Twitter and I was like, wait, this isn't CC because I didn't even know that an SDX drop happened that day. And I saw that, I was like, wait, what? And so and then I wanted to obviously try and make a sim using this hair. So that's what this is. And I will say, I think my favorite swatch is the one that I'm using, which is the blonde with the darker roots. The other swatches, you know, they're, they're not that great. I just also felt it was really weird that they gave the same type of swatches to toddlers. Cause I mean, realistically, would you be dyeing your toddler's hair? Probably not, right? So it's a bit strange. I wish they also included a solid swatch as well for this hair because I think it would have been really cute to see these in solid swatches. I know I think I already saw a CC Creator already do that, which I haven't downloaded it yet. But I mean, overall, I feel like this hair is really cute. I feel like it's going to be a really good base for a lot of CC hairs. So I'm really excited to see the creations that come out of that. The only thing I noticed about this hair specifically, if you guys see on the left side like towards the roots of the hair there is like a little bit of like a glitch or something going on there i don't know why that's happening i thought that maybe it was just my sim's face but i don't think it is i think it's just generally like a thing with the hair so it's a little bit weird that that's a thing but um i think i saw someone say that in game it's fine so i guess there's nothing really to worry about so when it came to making this sim a lot of the time when new hair comes out i always like to make a sim for it i have other creative sims that i've done that i've never really posted i might post a picture on twitter or something like that but i don't really ever end up uploading the creative sims but i don't know there's some sims that i've made that i really have liked and i wish i shared with you guys but yeah i mean she's still really cute and i kind of didn't really work too hard on the outfit i kind of just wanted something simple because my main focus was the hair not the fit so i didn't really put too much effort into the outfit although i think it's still cute but the first thing when i saw this hair i thought of dua lipa because you know she had her iconic future nostalgia era where she had the platinum blonde hair at the top and then you know underneath was like the black uh, which i think was really cute so yeah, I think that's what they were kind of going for with this, but I don't think, does she have roots? I mean, obviously her roots grew in after the fact, but yeah, I don't think in the original like photo promos, I don't think she had um, dark roots. I can't remember, honestly. I just definitely feel like the swatches could use some work. I don't know why, every time it comes to ombre swatches in The Sims, they're just never really that good. Like, I don't know, like, like the colors that they put together, it's just... It doesn't work a lot of the time. It's really weird. I don't know who does the swatches, but <sighs> yeah, I don't know. But they could have done like more natural ones. Like one thing I think of when it came to this hair, they could have done something like Billie Eilish. Cause you know how she had like the iconic, like neon green, was it neon green? It was like very green roots and then the rest of her hair is black. That would have been cool to include here for like either the black swatch or for the green one because then you could have like people recreate like Billie Eilish or whatever. But some of the other ones are just not cute. Like even like for past hairs too. I'm really excited to see what other hairs they come out with in the future because I don't know, it's just been getting so much better. But now like comparing this hair that is now included in base game to actual base game hairs is ridiculous. I kind of want to make a sim <laughs> using only base game stuff or like even using stuff that I don't like from create a sim because there is a lot of stuff that I'm just not a fan of. So maybe I'll do that eventually, but it's just, yeah, there's, like, I'm just thinking about the hairs from base game. And I'm just like, how is this even a thing? I would love to see an overhaul, but I honestly don't know if we'll ever actually get a proper overhaul for cast stuff and because if you really look at it the game is so outdated now as far as base game compared to the more recent types of packs you compare the items and it's just like night and day basically so it just feels weird that they're still keeping up with the sims 4 for so long i don't know w what their end goal for sims 4 is because it just feels kind of like it's gonna be everlasting <laughs> At this point, like, in a way, I'm kind of ready for Sims 5. Like, obviously, I'd love to have them fix up the game before they release Sims 5. But at the same time, like, I don't even have an estimated calculation on when I think Sims 5 will come out because 
I think at this point, I would have already assumed Sims 5 would be out, but you know, here we are still with The Sims 4. So I have no idea when we could even expect it, maybe the next two years or something like that. So that would still leave over two years of Sims 4. So who knows? But honestly, I don't even know if that would mean that they would be putting out that many packs either because you really think about it we didn't really get that many packs last year it just ended up being really bombarded by kits and same thing goes for this year wait did we even have a pack this year uh oh yeah the my wedding stories duh and then of course rest in peace stuff packs they have not been existent for over a year which is actually wild to think about that they've just basically been taken over by kits i would probably say at this point point. and it sucks because paranormal left off on such a good note like i feel like that was such a good new standard for stuff packs and then they just dropped it like it gave you a good amount of gameplay for a stuff pack and like the items were nice and all this stuff but yeah i think at this point it's time to accept that the sims 4 is the gta 5 of the sims franchise because gta 5 i think is about to be heading on to year 10 of it being out and they just keep making new versions for new consoles it's been on i think ps3 ps4 and now on ps5 so yeah Let's hope that's not the case with Sims 4, but she's getting there because we're about to be hitting year eight, year nine, year eight. God damn. But yeah, with that being said, that is pretty much it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll talk to you guys in a new video very soon. Bye guys.